Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm back with what is actually my second video and this time I'm just going over a resource that is going to help you get every rare fish and bug in the game. So whether you're worried about the exclusives, whether you're worried about keeping track of what you've got, whether you don't actually know what you're missing, there's not very many resources out there that I've seen that are personally going to be ones that I use regularly but this one this is one I saw come across my Twitter dashboard and I fell in love with it. So I had to make a video because it's going to be so helpful to you guys as well. So I mean I personally don't know the developer or the owner. I know of them but I don't know them. So this is literally just me making this because it's good. So I mean you guys must understand that this is this is something that's going to help you out no matter what. Whether you're just a casual player or whether you're going absolutely hardcore on the game. This is going to benefit everyone who plays. So, first of all, we've got the homepage, which is just nooksguide.com. And this is what you'll come up to. So, obviously, I'm signed in, so it may look a little bit different, depending on whether you're signed in or not, of course. Um, so, we can sort everything. So, that indicates there's a donate feature that we can use to obviously keep track of stuff, which is dead helpful. But what got me was the fact it updates here, so now 6pm, which is actually correct. Uh, and then obviously it tells you the time there for your town. Uh, you can change the month, the time zone, the hemisphere. So obviously I'm in the UK, I'm in the uh, northern one. But if we go up here, it even tells you details of where they can be found. So we've got cliff top for the river and then even just river mouth. So that's like super helpful. Because obviously if you just went, oh the fish is in the river, you'd be like, great, thanks. But we've now even got the times where they spawn and despawn. So a golden trout can appear between midnight, 9am. It'll disappear for a bit and then reappear seven hours later. Uh, and then it even tells you the bells. So I mean, I'd love it if there was like a feature to uh, filter them just, you know, alphabetically or by the time. Anything like that, that'd be cool. But obviously, like I say, this is brand, brand new. So, uh, I mean, obviously, they're even changing the images. They don't all match. Um, so if that annoys you, it probably will change. But again, not my site. So I don't really know. But, I mean, we can just hope that it's going to update. And then if we scroll down, we've even got things that we're looking forward to. So as I did in my tarantula video, I advised 7 p.m. was when they appeared. And now we also know they end at midnight, which I didn't know. And that's very, very helpful. So yeah, I mean you guys can get tarantulas, man face stink bugs, and find out when these are going to appear and disappear. So here we've got some more, and that's absolutely perfect, that's like so helpful. But it gets better than that. So I've not marked any as donated, my stats are completely empty, because mine isn't actually finished yet. So I'm one of the, the sad people that are still waiting for their museum to be built. But when I start, you know, ticking them off, I can use this. And these tell you to donate before March ends. And this is where it gets interesting. So if you've been in the Critopedia, you'll notice that it has all of the months laid out. But then around some of them, they're yellow. That obviously means they can be caught in, you know, March, April, September, October. Just for a wild example. But this tells you the ones that are leaving this month and ones you've not donated. And it also tells you if they're available now. So I imagine that might say available at 7pm or it might just be available this hour. And then it's got not donated yet but is available uh, and these will still be around in April. So you know you can catch these, these ones are available. You can catch these today and then obviously they'll still be around anyway. So you know you can just really start ticking things off and just going through them. Which again, super super handy. Especially for people like me who don't yet have the museum. It's going to be super helpful to just be able to see them all here. And obviously because it is just a website, you can use it on your phone. So whether you're at a friend's house with your Switch, just use it there. Or whether you're at your desk like I am now, I can just use it on my PC. So I don't have to worry about it being an app. Which is one thing I hate about like game companion apps that people make. They're great, they're awesome, but if the developer stops making them, they become real bad. Uh, and you know, you forget they're on your phone. Because if you're at your PC, you don't check your phone as much. At least I don't. So yeah, you've just got all these helpful features. So, you know, if I go through these, let's say I catch all of these now. Okay, so boom, we've ticked one off. We click some more. 
two out of seven and it's just updating everything here so obviously leave it in March if we click a different one that'll stay as three but the rest will update so obviously this will change presumably to April in the next couple of days and then if you want to just go to a massive exhausting list you can just you know click through these so what I'll do is I'll I'll find my donated ones which I don't actually know if I've donated I just clicked random ones for the sake of this video. Oh, leaving this hour. So that seems seems new. Ah, so yeah, after 7 p.m. this will be gone. So we've got leaving this hour as well, which I must say I didn't notice that earlier, which is even more helpful. We're learning together here. But yeah, this is this has got so much useful stuff on. There's also flowers, but we're not going to check that out today. Well, we might do it today. Just not in this video, because I want to hopefully be able to show you guys the flowers uh, and just create a guide for that, because I'm starting a garden and I want to be able to show you guys everything. But obviously I need to actually have the flowers to show you the footage. It's all well and good me pointing out which flowers to do, but I need to show you guys what they look like as well, just because that really means I get a cool garden to show off as well, which, I mean, that's a win-win for both of us. So, I mean, we've got so many cool features here that we can just use. Uh, and I personally will be using this. But, like I said, this isn't my site. I don't know the person personally who made it. So, yeah, I strongly recommend it, no matter how hardcore you are. You know, if you think, oh, I'm not going to use it, just give it a go. You might as well. Uh, and then, hopefully, you can get some of these rarer things. You know, the ones that are worth a little bit more. And you can just keep track of it that way. But, anyway, guys... That is it for today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like down below. And hell, if there's any other resources you guys use, let me know down below so I can check them out. And I can hopefully advise if they're great or not. And share them with everyone else. Because I'm really getting into this game now. And like I said in the last video earlier today, there's going to be a ton more content. Including some of the clothing stuff, which I'm super interested in. Uh, and designing all of that. So there should be more content, whether it's clothing, just little tips and tricks, or just exploring the new events like Bunny Day and Earth Day, because I'm super, super excited for those. But like I said, guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit like down below if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you are new. But that is it. Until next time, take care, guys, and peace out.